But the biggest inconvenience is fire trucks, ambulance, and police. We only have one way in and one way out. Right now at six concerns over a bridge closing in East Liverpool. Neighbors say they're cut off from the rest of the community. The span has been closed for six months now. They've they're, they say they're tired of the alternate route. Yeah, it takes time even for just a quick trip for milk or to a church right across the railroad tracks. I was in East Liverpool today. Here's the area I'm talking about. It's the Elizabeth Street Bridge. People are concerned for their safety when seconds count the most. There's the sound that makes the Klondike neighborhood in East Liverpool shake with concern. And when you hear the train coming, you know you're going to be stopped. I mean, that, you just know you're going to have to wait. Those waits are frustrating watching 100 plus train cars go by. The Elizabeth Street Bridge closed in January, meaning everyone on Michigan Avenue has to go to Putnam Street. It's the only way into the neighborhood and the only way out. I mean, it might not sound like one little bridge would make that much difference, but it is a difference. This train didn't have to stop and unload at SH Bell, which can block the crossing for 15 minutes. And that's led to the biggest concern, if there's a medical, police, or fire emergency at the same time. You know, we're all worried if anything happens over here and a train does stop, it blocks the crossing, and how long do we really have to wait? The city, Norfolk Southern, and SH Bell have plans in place should that happen. The bridge was closed after ODOT found girders cracked and collapsed, the rebar exposed and rotted. Trains make vibrations. The supports have to go 30 feet deep for a new bridge. Also has to be high enough for a train to go underneath. Plus, the bridge has to fit with the state route at the end. There are people in there that get frustrated, and I don't blame them. Uh, uh, I would be frustrated if I lived there as well. A new bridge is coming, but no one in the neighborhood really believes what they're hearing about how long it should take to replace. 2019 is the two years, but that seems too far. <laughs> That's just too long. East Liverpool's safety service director said this issue will probably come up every six months until the bridge is replaced. Normally, ODOT provides 80% of the funding. East Liverpool is getting 95% of the eligible costs for this $2 million project.